hey opinionated gang first before we get to the video i'd like to thank everyone who subscribed we're on our way to 500 subscribers i love you guys thank you keep the support um yeah also guys a quick um announcement the channel update um I, when i started the channel i used my school email account and because of that um that's why my name is supposed to be opinion to see here although you guys are opinion to the gang but I don't know if you guys know how to change the thing. So if you guys can DM me and we'll just do that. If you can change the name of the channel and change the email account, then we could do that. Or we'll just keep the name to my actual name. You guys are already used to it or I don't know. So if you guys would comment down below and just DM me. Seekless on Johnny on Instagram. Seekless on Johnny on Facebook. So today I have my beautiful friend here, Navila and team. Beautiful. As you guys can see. And today we are talking about opposite friendships and gender. What do you feel about that? Like, what do you feel about... Do you believe that's an actual thing? I don't believe a girl and a guy can be friends. My opinion, guys. You can't... The, one, one person is bound to, to catch feelings or get sexually attracted to the next one. Okay, I just believe that if there was no sexual attraction in the first place, mm -hmm. then it can be genuine. You get what I mean? Sure. It, it's genuine if there were, like, like we both not sexually attracted to each other, and like there's nothing there, then obviously we can be friends because there's nothing there. Yeah, to begin with. If it started clear and it started yeah. pure. Yeah. So like there, there won't be anything there. Mm -hmm. But then it can't be pure if one was attracted and the other was not. Yeah. Like it, it, it genuinely, you, you, you can try and maneuver and say, okay, now we're friends. Not, we, I realize I don't want to lose my friend. No, you don't want to lose the person in your life. But they, you're still going to feel some type of way that another person may have. You get it? Yeah. That's why you get the fact that suddenly the friend is jealous about the girlfriend. Or why is the girlfriend taking my friend away from me type or, of thing. Or, or, or feel they have a right to comment on the relationship. Because now they are the friend. But isn't that, that, the doesn't a partner allow that comfortability of commenting? Yes. And so it's a two-way street now because the partner thinks like I don't want to put my I, I don't feel like my friend is 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 doing anything wrong because it's my friend, so I allow my friend to say certain things that I wouldn't allow someone else to say. But because this is my friend, I I, I overlook it. I let it be. Do you get what? Do you understand? I think I have a friend of mine who said something about this. She said, um, even if you the, the, you like the guy and you the guy's a friend, the minute. Whoever the partner confides in about the other not liking each other, they've lost. So basically, if your boyfriend confides in me that, um, you know what, I'm, let's say I'm your boyfriend's friend, example, mm -hmm. and your boyfriend confides in me that Nabil doesn't like you, Nabil feels certain by you, then I already won. Your boyfriend took your private conversation yeah. and sent it to me. Yes. So they already because won. automatically now you know you have an upper hand. And I know that the friend would rather not lose me than lose the friend. Yeah. So that's why he he enabled the, the 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 funny thing. So that's why I don't believe it's genuine because your friend would want you to be happy and give you that space to be happy and not infiltrate in your relationship. So that's that's why I feel about this opposite friendships. I don't think it's true. And going back to the the, the point you said about brownies are crossed. Yeah. Not like not like gender stereotyping or anything. But sometimes most of us girls tend to, even guys sometimes tend to overlook at what like what things are. So if your friend is suddenly buying you food, even if it's a normal thing, mm. because he's doing more than your boyfriend's doing, and suddenly you start feeling some type of way, maybe this this yeah. this thing you, could work. I think, I think you you as an individual you start com you start comparing. Mm -hmm. Um, you start comparing because you're like. Um, I'm able to call my friend up and be like, I'm hungry, let's get lunch, I don't have money, and my friend's able to cover for me. But, but my boyfriend's not doing it. But your partner's not doing that. Then obviously it's not getting some type of way, then but, you, then you but what's go, love? Who loves you more? Yes, you get what I mean? You know? And also then you find that this person, like your friend, that's perhaps a male, has no intention to, or that, like never has never given you that 
moment where you actually thought that they want more from you more than a friendship but you start comparing because you're just like but is this not what my boyfriend is supposed to be doing but my friend is doing it so what wouldn't he do if he was my boyfriend you see what i mean yeah and those feelings are developing yes Hence i'm saying if unknowingly i know it's not like your intention you're like okay i'm going for for lunch with my friend and oh you read signals that aren't there you yeah. read like yeah. you just maybe genuinely like okay i have the extra money i'm gonna go buy her food mm -hmm. but suddenly now it's like oh mm -hmm, you just bought me food and you took the effort and time yeah whereas your boyfriend was like okay okay baby i'm so like you text your boy like oh baby i'm hungry like oh baby what are you gonna do where's this guy like, okay i'm just gonna go and get you food and you, that time your boyfriend like okay get sorry what am i gonna do mm. Imagine having that boyfriend over a friend who's gonna be like, over a friend who's gonna be like, okay, I'm just gonna do things mm -hmm. for you the way you want things mm -hmm. to be done. Um, and see? I think then, just, just because it's human nature, we are so inquisitive and we allow our feelings to wander off sometimes, mm. you automatically find yourself in that situation where you start wondering, what if? What if I gave this person a chance to be my significant other? What if I what gave if, this, what if this friendship is actually more like imagine meant to be a relationship yes meant to be more so you yeah. start wondering and start changing from the friend narrative to that yeah, yeah. exactly what i mean so so it's human nature to wonder and to to try and see if because we all like, like we all saw the thing of how everyone wants a soulmate and how everyone yeah. just wants love and wants to be loved so i think that's why i remember um i spoke to i spoke to 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 Sikhle about this uh, because majority of my friends, like my me as a person, my friends were guys, and I just I just got along with guys m much, I think better. Mm. And so a lot of my friends were guys, and they were older than me. So I'm at uni, and they like working already. So I knew that by any chance, if I need their assistance in any way, They'd they would be, be there. there for me. But I'd also be there for them. But uh, you know, like we just had that friendships. Mm. Um, and I knew that then going into a relationship, I had to, I had to be very careful about that, those friendships and, to not to put, and, and also what to accept and what not to accept and what to share and what not to share to ensure myself as well, like kind of not to, to not disrespect my partner. Do you mm. hear what I'm saying? Like, um, I, I always believe do not do something to others that you would not want done unto you. So I would not be comfortable with my guy uh, going around buying food for another girl. Or, or, I just, or like, okay, the food thing is just a, 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 a bit petty, but it's, it's, it's understandable. No, it's real. It's, 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 it's real, like but it's, it's real. But, but for me, this is the thing. If, if, if this friend is so important to you if, you, if you feel like this friend is so important to you and you need her in your life, that you, at 2 a.m., if you're next to me and you feel like you need to talk to her, then maybe I'm not going to be with you. You shouldn't yeah. be with me. If this person, you, I'm not your person. Then. Like um, you see me. Like if, if this person you feel like you can't live without this person. This person is such a such a friend or such a best friend to you that every time you need you go to that person. Mm -hmm. Then I'm not the person you should be with. If I'm not that person for you or to you. Because how would you feel if something happens to your man and the first person to know is his friend? That's maybe a girl. Or his friend is telling me what happened to my man. Yeah. Or about a story about an event that happened and I don't know about it. So I don't think yeah. you see what I mean. So that's what I'm saying. Like these opposite friendship things are, are, are very difficult to um to just say. Okay, it, it's just a, a blindfolding thing, and it shouldn't affect your relationship, but it does. It does, and that's where lines should be drawn. It's okay to be friends with guys. It's okay to be friends with girls. Yeah, of course. But these best friend type of things. Touchy, shouldn't your partner actually touchy, be your best? Touchy touchy type of things, guys. Stop it. <laughs> Please. Okay, you just have a problem. Like, okay, you yeah, just have a problem in general attaching. Think, yeah, okay. So Sikhle and I are very different. With me, I remember when I met Sikhle, guys, um, and I would see her guy hugging other girls. I would like nudge her and be like, Sikhle, "Are you okay with it?" <laughs> Sikhle, I just did it even this Saturday. Like, I saw someone hugging her guy, and I was like, "Sikhle, did you?" Okay, they were walking in front of us. Do you, do you see and that? then she's like, "Sikhle, are you like, seeing they 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 <laughs> hugging each other?" I'm like, "I know that girl. Like, I'm cool with that girl." Guys, I'm not like that. I, I, because I didn't... My culture is not like that. Like, I didn't... I, so, I grew up in a home where it hugs I, yeah, the boys and girls yeah, like, don't I'm hug. I'm not going to go into religion. I'm just going to say culture. Mm -hmm. My culture is not like that. We don't we don't hug uh, the opposite sex, kind of. And it's just... Hugging in general is just so taboo. Uh, so, I did not understand this hugging thing. And also... The she, like, had a full on that, like... Tommy, look at... <gasps> do you see your boyfriend? He's there. He's, he's, he's there. He's with hugging the girl. Like, Okay. I remember even when, um, the first time it happened when Sikhle actually when Sikhle explained this to me, 
the opposite because I think um, coming into our friendship that that we started with mm. each other, and then I met her her person, uh, like I think two years back, mm. two or three years back, and then. Um, I saw him hugging someone and at the time my friendship was just very new and I was like I, I didn't go and tell her like oh, but friend I saw your guy hugging this girl I was like friend so like um do you girls and guys just hug, hug each other? other? <laughs> <laughs> You're like you're <laughs> like show me do you guys just is that just a normal thing or oh no actually it was a she actually apologized for hugging my boy like I don't know sorry for hugging your boyfriend yes, like yes. <laughs> Like what the hell? So yeah, I would I'm, apologize to every girl that a guy hugs me. I'm like, I'm so sorry. He just so I think it like, also comes. Me. So I think it also comes with that, and just knowing that okay, wh- what boundaries to set for your partner. But I think also I've 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 understood certain like being at university. Mm. Um, I've understood certain cultures and religions and and also just dynamics of, of society and the makeup of people at this at this institution that we at. And so I then began to understand that as a person I'm very stringent on certain things. Mm. Like personally I don't You're go, very close off. I don't go around hugging everyone, in fact. I, I Only for you and, and I also have this thing of energies and I feel like I don't know what energy you might give off to me. So I just don't engage in, in like physical contact with everyone around me. Okay, so guys, that's that. That's the gist of it all. We just like we don't believe opposite friendships and gender are a valid thing. And um, if you believe you uh, guys, we're not saying you guys should stop being with, um, friends with your guy friends and your best friends. Continue with it if it's genuine and you guys really trust each other. And but then it's not for us. We're saying it's not for us. We don't believe in it. But, but I have a question. I have a question to. Then you guys can just leave it down in the comment below. To you, to them. What do you do, guys? If you have a partner, and then your partner has a friend that is the opposite, and this person openly speaks about not liking you, um, and your partner is still friends with this person, and this person is very open with your partner, very you know touchy, but then again, the dynamics is. Everyone is touchy these days. What do you do, guys? We need advice. I just think, okay, I just think this is my advice. You guys can comment your advice down below because I have to close the video. Mm -hmm. I just think that your partner should set the boundaries. Like he knows yeah. that we shouldn't be talking. About, should not we shouldn't be talking below. about my girlfriend like that type yeah. of way. And um, at the end of the day, the only the respect will come from your partner. Mm -hmm. It's his friend. It's not your friend. You're not yeah. feeling that somebody. So comment down below what you guys think of the situation. What you guys think of opposite friends. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, go follow me. See if that's on Jani on all the apps: Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. So just find me in. And then Nabila can leave your handles if you want them to follow you. Don't follow me, guys. I'm, my account is a stalker account. She has, <laughs> we stalk on our account. But okay, no, guys. There's no thanks. Need. Love and lights.